hi viewers welcome back to another exciting episode in this video i will show you how to create this simple photo manipulation using photoshop all images links in description so check that let's get started right now first take this model image double click here unlock the background use the fourth tool quick selection cut out the image from background just click and drag for selection. I just fast forwarding for save your time. Do like so. If you have any doubt or suggestion, please feel free to comment below. Use Lassen tool. Press Alt key for subtract from selection. Press Shift key for add to selection. After that, below the layer panel, click on Add a Mask. We fix this later. Just press Ctrl and click on here. So you got the selection. Then press Ctrl Shift I for inverse selection or go select inverse. Press Shift F6 for feather selection. Adjust value, click OK. Click on layer mask. Press Alt Delete. Use the crop tool and expand the page size. Just drag and drop this landscape image to our main project. Press Ctrl T and resize it. Drop the layer down. Resize the girl layer. Free transform. Use the rectangular marquee tool. Drag this portion and copy. Paste here. Ctrl V. Press Ctrl T and resize it. Add a 
add a layer mask. Use brush tool with black. Just paint it on layer mask, it will erase. Create a new adjustment layer color balance. In your Photoshop, don't have this option, just press Ctrl B. Click on clip mask to layer below. Again create new adjustment layer color balance. Click on clip mask to layer below. Create new adjustment layer curves. Duplicate the girl layer. Right click on layer mask and click apply. Use rectangular marquee tool, drag her and duplicate this portion. So you get the dress piece. Press Ctrl T and stretch it. Ok we are going to remove this portion. Use pen tool and do like so. I just fast forwarding for save your time. Complete the anchor point. Then right click choose make selection. Press delete key. Use Lassen tool. Invert select. Click on mask. We need shadow on her. Create new layer. Just press Ctrl and click on here. Use brush tool with black. Reduce opacity and fill on brush. Next we need bird cage. Cut out this image from background. Use pen tool and do like so. I just fast forwarding for save your time.
just drag and drop this to our main project. Press Ctrl T and resize it. Drop the layer below. Use rectangular marquee tool. Draw thick line and fill with color. Do like so. Go blending option then add gradient. Resize the cage. Press Ctrl L to adjust level. And adjust hue and saturation. Make layer as a group to easy find and understand. So here I make a group. Select the group. Add drop shadow for group. Right click the drop shadow, select create layer, click ok, so you got the drop shadow as a new separate layer, press ctrl T and stretch as your wish. Change the blend mode to soft light. And then go filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Create new layer. Add shadows. Use brush tool with black. Okay, we got the shadows. Next, we adjust color corrections. Create new adjustment layer color balance.
create new adjustment layer selective colors. Create new layer and fill with 50% grey. Then press Ctrl, Alt, G or right click create clipping mask. Change the blend mode to overlay. Use the burn tool for shadows. Use the dodge tool for highlights. Reduce opacity and fill. Next we are going to add paper crane. I already cut it out from background. These are the images.
make group just drag and drop each layer Place it as your wish. I just arranged this right click and convert each layer as a smart object we have lot of layers so change layer name to easy find layer color and name change it. we are going to put this crane on her hand reduce layer opacity and fill Click on add a mask. Use brush tool with black.
select each paper crane layer and add motion blur like this. Fast skip it for save your time. I am adding two more paper cranes. Add motion blur like this. Add shadows for paper crane.
create new layer add some folk Merge all layer as a one. Control Alt Shift E. So you got all layer as a one. Change blend mode to linear light. Then go filter other high pass. You got a sharpened image. Okay, thanks for watching. Check out our channel. There have a lot of free amazing tutorials and don't forget to share and subscribe.